Kelly Grace, can you give me your hat? Please? Good girl. Give to mommy. What do you need to do today, Quinny? I need to do laundry. Do you need to do laundry? Pax-1 syndrome is a neurodevelopmental condition. Children present shortly after birth, usually with delays in their development. Seizures are usually a big part of the condition, but not in every patient. There's a delay in all the skills that a child would normally display in the first year or two of life. Everything is challenging for Alia. She has the intellectual ability of a one-year-old. The geneticist came into the room and gave me a piece of paper which says she has Pax-1 syndrome. There's no cure treatments. Go home and do your best to manage the symptoms. But most doctors have never seen another patient because it's still a relatively newly described condition. And so the families go online and they find the Pax-1 Syndrome Foundation, and that's the connection point. And with that kind of approach, we now have built a coalition of hundreds of families that are all facing the same situation, a disease they had never heard of. Hi, we are the Zahidi family. Uh, we're from Long Island, New York. Uh, hello, I'm Yochin. I'm nine years old. My power is Pax-1. The foundation is really focused on developing cures for this disease. Every patient with this disease has exactly the same genetic change, which is very rare in human disease. It's a single mutation. In other words, in this gene, there are not mutations throughout the gene. It's always, for all those Pax-1 syndrome patients, exactly the same place which is mutated. Protein, which is responsible for the disease, acts as a toxic protein, and it does cause some damage in the cells. We see this in the actual cells of the actual patients. It's like a poison almost in the cell, and the goal of the foundation is to figure out a way to silence that bad copy of the protein. And we're doing that by either knocking that bad copy down or by building molecules that can attack that bad protein and silence it and quash it down. If we're looking for the fastest path to get a treatment. I think the tremendous opportunity nowadays is that the science is there. The scientific advisory board is really joined at the hip with Taruna and the families. Yay! You did it! And I think what we've been able to do over the last couple of years is really engage a team of scientists that are 100% committed to the mission. I work with genetic mutations and then to use genetic mutations to understand how cellular proteins work together. My research organisms is this uh, free-living, non-parasitic nematode worm, and it's called C. elegans. It grows in the lab for one generation within three days. Its genome can be mutated by design, therefore we can model the Pax-1 mutation in C. elegans. Then we can use many tools to analyze how the cellular function changes. Patients-driven foundations uh, are much more focused and then actually help the researchers to direct our efforts to address a specific question. And it's moving faster than what I would say NIH broadly interested topics funded research. So then we can go back to the mm -hmm. orange one. The Pax-1 Syndrome Research Foundation has been instrumental in launching Pax-1 Syndrome research in my lab without their seed funding, that is the funding that they gave to me for two years, a couple of years ago, we wouldn't have been able to collect all the preliminary data that we had now, and that with that we were able to apply for NIH grants, that is really now where like the big, big, big money. What we do specifically for Pax-1 syndrome is generate these models so we can understand the mechanisms of how the Pax-1 syndrome pathogenic or or disease variant or change uh, leads to the disease phenotype in the patient. So our model is very powerful because it has the genetic background of the patients. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> You're doing it. <laughs> we see the faces of the kids. We see that we are all working together to provide better quality of life for these kids. And I think there's nothing more powerful than that. We need to have less parents sitting around waiting for miracles. We are dedicated to Pax-1 uh, patients and their family in our research effort. Pax-1 is, is one of these rare conditions that I think we have a real opportunity to develop a therapy for. Our plans are we hope to have a drug into patients 
and we're hoping that that drug dramatically improves the quality of life. Gracias por todo. Gracias. Chao, chao. Thank you, babe. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Our hope is that Archie will live a long, uh, healthy, and happy life, and we want to thank you for helping us find a cure for Paxman syndrome.